Hello everybody. Today we are going to create a calculator in the platform code.org app lab. So first of all, you have to open Google Chrome on your PC. Then you have to search for code.org in the search bar. Now you will see this kind of a screen. From here you have to click on sign in on the top right corner then you will see this kind of a screen so here you have to enter your email ID and password then you have to click on sign in then you will see this kind of a screen so from here you have to click on create then you have to click on app lab Okay, now you will see this kind of a screen. So the first step for us to create a calculator will be to design our app. So you have to click on design. Then you have to place a label here at the top. So the ID right here, I change it to label first number and remember the ID should always be unique if you provide a duplicate ID then you will get an error so right here I will change the text to enter your first number right there then I just increase the font size to 15 then I drag it to the middle right there now next we should put a text input like that and the ID will be text first number and you have to leave it blank because it's for entering the first number when you're trying to calculate okay so next one other label just like that and I will give this label a ID of label second number right there and for text I will give it enter your second number right there and uh, um right here I increase the font size to 15 just like that now from here you need one other text input and that will be for well the second number I place it right there um, I increase the font size to 15 oh I'm sorry then I change the ID to text second number So after this, we'll have four buttons, one for addition, another for subtraction, the other for multiplication, and the last for division. So our first button, right there, then our second button, right 
just like that. Yeah. Um, I just move it a bit to the side. A third button. And I just move it a bit more to the to up upwards and our last number last button right there yeah so you have to change the IDs of each of them so for this button this one right here I will give the ID as button add because this will be for addition and for text I enter add and for the second one the ID will be button subtract and the text will be subtract For the third button, I enter the ID as button multiply. And the text will be multiply right there. And for the last button, the text will be button um, divide. And the text will be divide. Yeah. So one label right there. And this will be, I will give it the ID of label result text and I'll give it the text of your result is result is and then another label right there and that will be for the result I will give it the ID of label result and you have to leave the text blank right there I increase the width to 100 and I move it a little more to the middle now I increase the font size to 15 and even for this to 15 right there now we are done with designing our app now we have to code our app so click on code and you can see this kind of screen here it's the toolbox and this is the workspace so our first code block will be on event the ID will be button add so first we are doing it for add is clicked um, I'm sorry set set number um, ID is labeled result and get I'm sorry um, go to math and you can see this plus symbol that is the add operator place it there then back to UI controls you can see get number and place it there and another one right there so for the first get number the ID will be text first number and for the second one it will be text second number so we are done with addition let's try and add um, 10 plus 5 
and then click on the add button 15 so we have created the we are done with addition now we go to subtraction so the first code block again on event button subtract is clicked um, set number ID will be label result and you have to go to math and you can see the minus symbol that is the subtract operator and right there back to UI controls then get number one of it and second one so for the first one the ID will be text first number and for the second one it will be text second number yes so we are done with um, subtraction and addition so let's try and subtract 10 minus 5 subtract it's 5 so we are done with addition and subtraction now let's move on to multiplication so our first block is on event the ID is button multiply is clicked um, then set number the ID will be label result math and this the star is the multiply operator place in the place of zero go back to UI controls and get number there one and there the second one so for the first one the ID will be text first number and for the second one it will be text second number so let's try and multiply something. I will multiply. Um, let's check. 10 by 10. Multiply. 100. Yeah. Correct. So we are done with addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So we are on the last stage uh, for division. So, on event, ID will be um, button divide, is click, um, set number, the ID is label result, go to math, then you can see the slash, that is the divide operator, then back to UI controls, then click on drag and drop get number two of them two of them for the first one the id will be text first number and for the second one the id will be text second number so let's try and divide i will do it 10 divided by 5 let's divide 2 now let's see let me add them 15 subtraction 5 multiplication 50 so we had if you want we can rename our project so I'm gonna give it a name as my calculator my calculator and then you press on save so that's it for this video guys there we have our calculator and don't forget if you like this video don't forget to like and share this video please subscribe to my channel for more goodbye till the next video